everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at two new features in 3D Coat that are small in scope, but very useful nonetheless. And the first one is being able to create your own custom profile brush alpha in 3D Coat. The second one we're going to take a look at is in the E panel, and that is the movable stamp brush. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the bottom of the brush panel. I'll click Create New using curves. And you can see I have a curve editor here. So you can just click a few points here, create a nice little standard S curve. Hit OK. You can edit it by right clicking on the icon or the brush. Edit curve and go right back to it. I'm going to create a new one. This time what I want to do is go with something kind of a sci-fi theme, something I might use on a robot or a spaceship or something of that nature. So I'll create some curve points here. And on this first one, if I right click once, you'll notice now it's a smoother curve. So this is a smooth curve profile, or curve point I should say. So if I right click a second time, it's now a hard curve point. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a few of these. Right click twice. Right click twice on this. Create a new point. This one can have a little bit of curvature, that's fine. I'm going to right click on this one twice to make it uh, a hard point. And um, make create some intermediate points here. Okay. So now let's go to our model here. I'm going to use the build brush. And again, with the movable stamp brush selected, I'm going to go ahead. And what this will let you do is it will allow you to preview what, what it's going to look like while you place it. Okay, unlike the other stamp mode, this one, you cannot move this one, but you can scale on the fly. So that's the difference between the two. Okay, make sure that if you're just going to make a single object uh, at a time using these stamp tools, make sure to turn interpolate off. I find that you'll have some issues sometimes with that turned on. Also, I'm going to go back to this movable stamp. If your fall off is a bit too high, you may get something like this. Now that may be what you want. You may want uh, on your curve to be somewhat uh, oblong like that, but just know if you run into that, you want to adjust your fall off. Okay, it should eliminate that. Also, you'll probably get a better result if you keep the angle almost perpendicular to the camera. If you try to do this at a strange angle, you might not get a good result. In this case, it worked out okay, but uh, sometimes you may find um, having it at a hard angle may not be so easy for a 3D coat to replicate it. Okay, so you can also use spacing if you use another a regular brush. Go up to options, use spacing. You can crank it up depending on the size that you want. Okay, the larger the size, the more spacing you're going to need, obviously. Okay. So I can bring it down, right click, drag left and right to scale it. Right click and drag up and down to increase the intensity just like you would any other brush. And this is where you may want to have interpolate on. If you're going to kind of paint along a line, you can do it that way. But yeah, with these new uh, profiles, you'll, you'll find that you can create some really nice um, strange shapes. Again, you'll have to play with the, the spacing. A 
as you choose. So uh, yeah, go ahead and take it for a spin and see what you think. And thank you for watching.